Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really good. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you four simple and easy slow cooker meal ideas. So the first one we're gonna start off with is chicken stew and all I use for this is some chicken thighs, an onion, some carrots, some chopped potatoes, some frozen peas, and some red onion chutney. I also like to add in a chicken stock pot that you can just mix with some water. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is pop my chicken thighs in the slow cooker. I have already washed these and then I'm just gonna pop them in raw. That's all I do. I think that's the benefit of having a slow cooker. It can all just be thrown in. I never pre um, like cook things before they go in the slow cooker. I just wang it all in. And then I'm gonna chop up an onion and pop an onion in there too. And also some carrots. added in my onions and my carrots now and then I'm just going to pop in the frozen peas as well at this point. The next thing I'm going to do is cut up the potatoes. I'm just going to cut these into little pieces. I always leave the skin on as well because that's another thing that makes it easier. Just leaving the skin on because it goes all soft and falls off anyway. So you can just leave the skin on on the potatoes. I'm going to pop them in the slow cooker now. And then the next thing to put in is the red onion chutney. That's just how I say it. I don't know if it's pronounced differently but that's just how I say it. I also say potato, potato, potato. It's just how I pronounce things but onion chutney and then I'm going to pop in my chicken stock pot so I'm just going to pop one of these in a jug and then add some boiling water in there and then mix that in with the ingredients as well. stocks in I'm just going to give everything a really good mix through I need a bigger slow cooker um, I always put so much in there but it's fine though it always cooks still but I need a bigger one and then I'm just going to cover it with tin foil and pop a little hole in the top because I smashed our um, lid for the slow cooker which I need to get another one but for now I'm just using tin foil because it works exactly the same and it's fine and then throughout the day I'm going to give it a mix because I'm at home so I can do but if you are out at work and you can't give it a mix um, and you're not going to be at home then I would leave it on low all day um, it'll still cook just as fine but I like to leave mine on high to start with and then I'll change it to low throughout the day um, but look how delicious it's looking now. It's a real autumn, lovely, cosy meal to be having. I like to serve as with Yorkshire puddings and I'm a bit lazy and I haven't made these. I've just bought them and stuck them in the oven and then I'm just going to dish them up and dish everything up onto the plates. But it's a real lovely, tasty, hearty meal and we really enjoy it in our house. And like I said, it's just so easy to throw in the slow cooker. So the next meal I'm showing you is a beef chilli. So what I'm using for this is a steak mince. So this is just from Tesco. And I'm using two tins of chopped tomatoes. Some tomato puree. Some chilli powder. An onion. And again, some red onion chutney. And some kidney beans. And some sweet corn. First thing I'm going to do again is chop up my onion. I always use onions in like all the slow cooker meals because it gives it really good flavour. So I'm going to chop the onions up, give them a good dice and then pop them in the slow cooker with the beef. I'm then going to add in a tablespoon of chilli powder. Watch you don't spill it everywhere like I did. Um, two tablespoons of chilli powder actually. <laughs> And then I'm going to add in the beef stock cube, these are the stock pot like juicier ones and then you'll add some water in shortly and then chopped tomatoes go in after that. Then I'm going to add in the kidney beans 
I don't particularly like these very much but they always give the chilli a really nice taste and then the sweet corn which is my favourite because I love sweet corn. Then I'm adding in a big dollop of the red onion chutney and then also going to add lots of the tomato puree, just give it a little squeeze. Um, I don't know how much I put in, I just wang it all in to be honest. I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook but I just just swang it all in and just hope for the best. Give it a really good stir and again just leave it on low all day if you're going to be out or if you're going to be at home then maybe leave it on high in the morning to give it a really good heat and then turn it down to low for the afternoon but it just smells the house just smells so yummy while it's cooking all day but Steve wanted to have his as nachos so we just did some little nachos and then it put the chilli on and then I added some cheese and put that in the oven for him so he had like chilli nachos but we just had ours with some rice I just had whole whole wheat rice and then we also added some tortilla chips and some cheese on ours as well but me and the boys didn't want nachos I always add a little bit of sour cream for the boys just in case it's a little bit spicy and I always put a bit on myself because I'm not a big lover of spice but it wasn't spicy anyway, it never really is but that is the finished dish and it's just really delicious, again really lovely, warm, cosy meal for this time of year. You make your best chili. The best chili. Now we're on to the third meal. Again, we're having an onion with this. It's a sausage casserole dish. So we're just going to chop up an onion as per. Stick a carrot in as well because carrots give it really nice flavour and it's vegetables. Alpha keeps telling me, Mummy, we have to eat a rainbow every day because they've been talking about harvest at school. So they've learned that they have to eat a rainbow every day. So it's helping Alfie to um, eat more vegetables by him now knowing that he has to eat a rainbow every day because he's not the best at eating vegetables but I think when it's in the slow cooker they always eat more of the vegetables because they're, they're a lot more tastier and they're kind of just softer and mixed in with it all so that's what I love about them as well. So I'm going to pop the onions and the carrots into the slow cooker. I am just using some chipolata pork sausages from Tesco and then I'm also going to chop up some potatoes again leaving the skin on and just popping them in there as well. Alfie would prefer mash but that doesn't come with the slow cooker, you can't do mash in the slow cooker so we just have potatoes. But then I'm adding in some paprika, paprika, um, a tablespoon of that in there, give it a little bit of a kick, a little bit more tasty. Then I'm adding in some garlic as well um, to make it taste nice as well. And then I'm also adding in some of these cherry, are they cherry tomatoes? Yeah they are cherry tomatoes in juice in a tin. I actually didn't know they did these but they do and I always like to add them in as well because it gives it more flavour. And then I'm adding in some of these haricot, har haricot beans, I think that's what they're called. Um, haricot beans, they're basically like exactly the same as baked beans but they're like white. They're like what baked beans look like before they go in the tomato juice. So I'm adding those in and then adding in a chicken stock cube as well because I don't do sausage stock. So I'm adding in a chicken stock cube and then a little bit of water and then give it a really good mix through. Again, leave it on low if you're going to be out or leave it on high in the morning and then turn it down to low in the afternoon. Again, I'm giving it another good stir throughout the day just to make sure that everything's looking and cooking well. And then it's ready to dish up. We've put ours in bowls because it's just a little bit easier because we're not serving it with anything else. So it's more of like a stew in a bowl and it's just lovely. So really, really tasty meal and Alfie and Woody wanted a little bit of cheese on top of theirs. So that is another meal done and dusted and the next one is a spaghetti bolognese and one of my favourite meals so I can't wait to show you this one and especially doing it in the slow cooker is so easy. Again it's another onion of course and then the mincemeat that I'm using is from Tesco and it's already got onions and carrots in it which is brilliant. I think that is so good because it just makes life so much easier. So it's lean beef with carrots and onions. 
already mixed in. So pop that in there, make sure you take the little sheet off. Then I'm adding in some tomato puree. Again, just a big dollop of that. Just keep squeezing it until you feel like you've put enough in. Then I'm adding some mixed herbs. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of garlic. I just like to pop a bit of that in my hands and then just sprinkle it all over. Again, I'm adding in some red onion chutney. This is my new favourite ingredient to add into slow cookers. It just gives it a really nice taste. And then two tins of chopped tomatoes. Whack them in. I love to chop tin, tin chopped tomatoes. They, I've just basically got loads of them in my cupboards because they come in handy for so many recipes. Give that all a really good mix. And then I'm adding in a beef stock cube. So a little bit of water in there as well just to make sure the beef stock cube melts nicely and then give it all a good stir and leave it on low again if you're going to be out or if you're going to be in then leave it on high until the afternoon and then turn it down to low. So the only thing about doing spagabol in the slow cooker is you still have to do your pasta because I always find that when I've done pasta in the slow cooker before it's gone all funny. So I'm just doing some whole wheat pasta in the pan just 20 minutes before we want to dish up and then that's done and dusted. It doesn't take long anyway making pasta so I'm just popping that in the pan and then it's ready to dish up and we can serve that in our new bowls that I got from Morrison's that I absolutely love, they're gorgeous. And then the boys are having this, they love spaghetti bolognese, they'll eat loads of it which is a bonus because I always struggle to get the boys to eat food, they're just fussy, fussy all the time so spaghetti bolognese is always a winner in our house. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and got some inspiration from it. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favourite meal was. Also, if you repeat them on Instagram, please let me know because I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.